the Honourable Leader of the Second Opposition. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It was announced yesterday that single persons on EIA will face a $25 a month cut for $300 a year. Madam Speaker, I table a document that shows EIA rates for the last number of years. The budget for basic needs for an individual is $195 a month. It has increased only once in the last 20 years by $20. But the provincial basic needs rates are lower today than they were 27 years ago in 1992, not just for single people, who, but for parents and people with disabilities. 27 years because for a generation, the PCs and NDP alike maintained the same sadistic, punitive policies towards people living in poverty. Can the Premier explain how going out of his way to make people on welfare even poorer is going to make them better off? The Honourable Minister of Families. Well, yes, I'd be happy to explain that to the Leader of the Second Opposition. In fact, uh, Manitobans are, are wanting to move from uh, positions of being dependent on government programs to being independent in the community, and that's why we will focus on investing the programs that will do that for them. This particular program was not doing anything uh, towards seeking uh, uh, jobs for Manitobans, Madam Speaker, so we are continuing to invest in other areas that will support uh, the services that are needed for those vulnerable Manitobans to get them back to living independently in the community. The Honourable Leader of the Second Opposition. Thank you, Madam Speaker. What Manitoba needs is growth. People need good jobs with good wages, but this government is going out of its way to make people poorer, freezing their incomes Order. by putting people out of work. There is something broken in our economy because the number of people on EIA is at an all-time high. Over 71,500 people, and it has been going up every year for 10 years straight. Because this government is pushing people into poverty. It's not just people on EIA. The Premier boasts of shrinking the government workforce by 8%. There are also thousands of people in Manitoba who are working incredibly hard at jobs that include caring for children or adults with disabilities, whose wages are so low that they are trapped in poverty as well. When thousands of people working full time can't get out of poverty, Madam Speaker, what jobs are people on welfare actually supposed to apply for? The Honourable Minister of Families. Well, Madam Speaker, I believe we have one of the lowest unemployment rates uh, in the country, Madam Speaker, and uh, we, are, we will continue to work uh, towards uh, improving our economy uh, to that end, Madam Speaker. But what I will say is that, uh, again, Madam Speaker, our government is focused on, provide, uh, on uh, yielding real results for Manitobans, positive results for Manitobans, particularly those most vulnerable in, all, in, all, in our society. Uh, we want to move towards uh, people being dependent on government programs, towards being independent in the community, and we will work with them. Uh, I work with the Department uh, of um, Education and Training as well to provide the education and training supports that those Manitobans need in order to be able to live independently in the community. We will continue to work with them to that end. The Honourable Leader of the Second Opposition on a final supplementary. In the last 27 years, Madam Speaker, there have been seven NDP and PC governments, and it's worth out pointing out that between the two of them, they voted 10 times to change a balanced budget law so they could avoid a pay cut, while people with disabilities on EIA got nothing. Today, the media is reporting that direct action in support of community homes, or DASH, is laying off 99 people living with mental and physical disabilities. The CEO said, quote, it's horrifying. I talked to another staff that has one of her managers buying her food because $13.75 an hour just doesn't cut it, end quote. She said the wages have to be fixed. I know the answer will be evasion and denial, but I will ask the question anyway. Will this government act immediately to improve wages so Manitobans who work full time aren't living in poverty? The Honourable Minister of Families. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and we value the work done by our service delivery uh, partners, including DASH, Madam Speaker, to help support adults uh, living with intellectual uh, disabilities. Our main priority, Madam, Madam Speaker, is to ensure that essential services are being provided to those who need them. I had the opportunity to speak to Karen Fonsef earlier today, the CEO of, of DASH, and she has uh, assured me that the uh, current um, restructuring plans uh, within DASH will not have a negative impact on the programming uh, for those clients that they serve. Uh, Madam Speaker, we will continue to work with our service uh, delivery partners to ensure that essential services are being provided to those Manitobans who desperately need them.